Jess, come on in. Hello. Hello, darling. Oh my God. Look, come look, on oh, in the wow. cab. Nice to, Hi, nice to meet you, Jess. Me. Thank you for having me. Who is Jess Woodley? Who am I? I my name's Jess. I am um, a bit of an entrepreneur. I have a little business. Yeah. I have my little brand. Yeah. I also i am trying to direct short films at the moment, which uh -huh. is really fun. Yeah. And I guess I work in fashion mainly. Okay. So I do, my, my feet are... Your, your feet are everywhere. Yeah, How old I'm, are you, darling? I'm 24. You're 24, so you're a baby. I'm most well known for being a part of the reality show Made in Chelsea in a series 9 in 2015. Hey, I'm now 54. I did What Not to Wear when I was like 35. People still come up to me and say, that's, oh, yeah. you disappeared. What happened after What Not to Wear? And I think I've had a really long career and I've done some uh, yeah, exciting things, yeah. but that's okay. Yeah, some I mean, people want to associate a time in which they first discovered your name. Without them, I wouldn't really have a kickstart in my career. What do you think? Let's say, I know this sounds really bad, but I'm just going to no, ask no. you. Let's say tomorrow you're run over by a bus. Okay. What would you most want at 24 to be known for? Have the most iconic movie. I mean, yeah. a, a film that is moving, though. A film that has something to say. You mean like, heavy, has something to say? Or do you mean... It's actually a bit heavy. It's actually a bit heavy. Are you quite, quite like are you horror. quite... A horror? How do you earn your money? Everything is being a step, everything's a stepping stone, right? So right, everything yeah. is a stepping stone to get to where you want to be. Yeah. And uh, in my head, yeah, Made in Chelsea was a stepping stone. But I didn't know that at the time. I was just having a bit of fun yeah. with my did friends. Did you earn money? Uh, not so much at the start. You earn about £50 pounds a day. All right. And did your parents give you money to live off? No, they, they actually didn't. cut me off at 15. Then I started doing a Saturday job. I was at boarding school, but I took, I wanted to work. I've always been just eager to have clothes. Yeah. Moved out at 17. Yeah. So really, that's really yeah, young. Yeah, because I just really wanted to get in London, which oh, evidently, I actually where, regretted where did it you a bit. Where did you grow up? In Surrey. All right. So it's nice. It was really, I was really lucky. It was lovely. Big fields and But at the stuff. time, you wanted to I just wanted it. a piece of it. And I wanted to party. I wanted to meet boys. I wanted so you to did drink. all of that? Yeah, I did all that. And then I to I an went, extreme, which yeah, you thought, absolutely. i got to get out of this. Yeah, yeah, I did. Even, no, I just got completely carried away. The did show. you go to rehab? Oh, no. Okay, no, but no, you didn't no. get that carried absolutely away. Absolutely not. No, no, no. All right. No, no. So we're, you join the good. show. I leave the show. And by the same, do you have an Instagram following? Yeah, I did. Maybe, maybe 300, pushing 300,000. Thank God, it was great. And were you promoting stuff to earn more money I than was, your 50 pounds a day? Just, yes. What did you was, do? What was uh, your first close. big contract? I was always close to something quite good. I think it might have been Reebok. I was really lucky. Right. Yeah. I was really lucky. I started to not, I didn't just post. I never, ever, ever would just post. I'd get fully stuck in and like create like editorials, shoot videos, shoot other people. Yeah. I'm, so you made like a whole journey story out yeah. of each thing. Yeah. That's kind of great. Fully. I love that. How many brands do you work with now? Oh, right now, I'm an ambassador for Jean Paul Gaultier. Yeah. Cairo TV, I'm filming for Cairo TV. They're a TV program. They're boys. I've just done an episode on dating. Yeah. Who else am I working with? She's looking on the bedroom. I'm, I'm, I'm currently trying to work for Diesel, so. <laughs> Shout She's out. trying to work for Diesel. Diesel. Lost Diesel. No. Be a good Diesel girl. Cool Diesel girl. Puma. 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 I'm a Puma ambassador as well. I love yeah. Puma. Puma, great. Yeah. It took you a while to run Puma. Puma's a huge <laughs> bloody name! There we go, done. Sorry. Oh, come in the taxi, that she come said. It'll be taxi. fun, they said. She's got such amazing. Can I just tell you, this girl has unbelievable skin, even if she has orange bronzer on the corner here. Oh, yeah, she's got about beautiful her. skin. Your challenge today is to take something from one of these pots, open it up, and that's the makeup you're gonna do. First date. Yeah, first date makeup. Tell me the okay. important elements of first date makeup. You just did dating with those lovely people okay. on Power TV. Tell me about it. The most, the most important thing to me was not being shiny. Hey, oh my God, half our brother's gonna go. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> no, but you know, just here. Okay, yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah. You are so, a bit shiny. Yeah, do you I'm do shiny. Botox? No, but no, I you have do. some. <laughs> it's like a drug in the car. <laughs> no, I don't have some. I haven't got yeah, my injection you got, here. <laughs> okay, can we just get some? We're so yeah. steamy and nice and we're loving it. Uh, you do you want clear eat? skin? Yes. Of so of you course. need a foundation. So I'm going to do a foundation. Oh, this is so nice. Yeah, you're zandy. Because you want to look like you don't, you're not that fast, even if you're really, right. really, really fast. You might kiss Do you, you want him to kiss you on the first date? Maybe. Maybe. You, you don't mind if you have a strong lip on? Um, no, it's not. It's not. It's funny. It's like, oh my god, your face has got my makeup on it. Okay, you quite like that. Very fine. I love it. You've so convinced the man on that one. Your mission is to do three minutes to do the perfect makeup. Three minutes is a lot, actually, isn't it, for this look? No, yeah. It, mm. Two minutes. Wait, have you changed it? What about the other people? They had one, two, or three, depending on what I felt like on the day. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> two and a half, perfect. You're going to get Great. two and a half minutes, <laughs> and your challenge starts now. Um, so you're going to start that on. You're going to just do a little bit around, down. just even out your skin, even yeah, out your skin. That's perfect. Yeah. That's keep rubbing, keep rubbing, keep rubbing. Sort of 
Then you've got to go onto your base. There, Jess, there's your base. Do you yeah. remember where yeah, your spotties it's are? It's not even a problem. You're just going to go. Mm -hmm. So you're yeah. going to take it and you're just going to blend, yeah. blend, blend, blend. Yeah, I'm just like assuming. Just keep blending, keep blending. Because you do this all the time I and do. I don't understand I how do you do, do it. I do do it all the time. Where are my spots? Okay, yep. Okay, yeah. going onto blusher. Do you remember where no. in your face to put blusher? No. Come on, think. No, no, that think of where is it? Yeah. Where, feel where your most bounciness of your cheek is and just pat, 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 pat. Is that too much? Cheek, yeah. Okay. She's trying to look in the lens of the camera. No, I'm not. Okay, all right. Okay, and you put it that high up. Yeah, that's okay. You put it there. Yeah, that's fine. No, 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 no. I mean, you put it this high up. You don't put it there so much. Okay, eyes. Really dig into the product. Get up, get that yellow. You want that golden sunlight color. Then you're going to take Dahlia. Yeah. Okay, take Dahlia. Take Dahlia. There we go. Right. Just really imagine your yeah. lip shape because you've got great big lips. It should be very easy to do. What's the time? What's the time? What's the time? Oh my God! There was a mirror down here. No, there wasn't. You just saw it. Okay. This is look number one with a shiny face, but the makeup done. Oh, looks good, huh? Oh snap! Now you remember how shiny you were? Yeah. Okay, so I'm now gonna just take this. Oh, this is great. This, this is way better than isn't makeup a powder. There. It isn't a powder. This feels nice. It's very and this is just going to cover any shine. Oh, oh wow! Okay. No powder. <gasps> Was that a good challenge? Yes. Did she do well? Yes. Oh, what are we going to give her out of 10? One, two, three, let's all say it. Nine. Okay. Nine. Okay. All right. Nine. Yes. Oh, thank you, Jess. <laughs> so we're starting off now with Jess's top beauty buys, which were carefully curated and selected as she ran into her bathroom in one minute and grabbed what she yeah, could get. Right. Is that about right? Yes. <laughs> oh, one. Item number one. Yeah. Oh my god, that's cute! How good is this? Oh my god, it's a snow making shampoo go to your perfume bottle. Interceuticals. Oh, Interceuticals. I, okay. I use this every day. Yeah. That's quite nice. Interceuticals exfoliating polish. Yeah. I quite like the idea of that. I might try it. I, use it I don't day. like the hyaluronic, really but, oh, but I will try it. it okay, works very on nice me. there. Works on good, me. we haven't seen that before. Do I need some on my nose? Okay, next. Um, okay. She's thinking of what to bring out the bag. The Kiehl's, if you're listening. <laughs> um, ultra facial cream. Now, Kiehl's, I know, are really good with influence. They give a good deal because they pay you as Do well they? as. Yeah. They pay me. So I would say you've got to get on with Kiehl's because can I just tell you, Kiehl's, why you need to have Jess as one of your brand ambassadors because Jess has a real <laughs> life. That's why you should have her as an influencer because Help. if you really use it and you have a life, Help. Help I would say even though Kiehl's is owned by L'Oreal and it uses quite a few chemicals and it's not what it used to oh, be, really? I still think... Oh, that you would give a good opinion about Kiehl's because you use it. I use it Before every day. she's ever got a deal with you, Kiehl's, that's the kind of influence you should go to. Yeah. <laughs> she's now thinking as she goes in the back, who else do I want to make a deal with? <laughs> okay. This all is right. um, this is another spot thing. Okay. I just have I'm a spotty gal, okay. guys. Clear start. These are all spotty. If and it's spots. a fizz mask, blackhead cleaning, Dermalogica. So Dermalogica do have great ranges, Daily Exfoliant. They have quite a few products for clear skin. I think they're fine. I think they work. I think I can give you a whole regime for clear skin, which will help yeah, you. Okay. I would say I just don't do a deal face. with Dermalogica. I think you should do a deal with Kiehl's. Okay, next. Next. <laughs> okay, this is also the other interstitial cause thingy that gets rid of my spots. I feel you've got the contract on your desk. I don't, but I wish I did. <laughs> okay. This is actually called a treatment gel. It's probably got salicylic acid it in does. it. Which it's got, we've got witch hazel in it. It's fine. Salicylic acid is fine, but if you put too much on the spot, the contrast between it drying up your spot and your skin around will give you a scar. Just so you know. Oh God. Okay. What's this? It might be out of date, but this is what I used to use with before it went out of date for my just mask, face mask. And there's no contrast. Oh, it's gone. It's out of date, isn't it? It just smelled. It stank. Next. It did. Oh. Last uh, thing. Last thing. You're thinking now, still, aren't you? What are you thinking? A liquid eyeshadow? Yeah, you mean a cream eyeshadow? Or whatever that means. Is it sandalwood? It's bloody good. It stays on forever. What's it called? What's the, what's the colour? This one is called Groundwork. Groundwork. Prolong Paint Pot. Nice. Very nice. Like it is that. really nice. Lovely. Actually. Yes. Yes, it's pretty. It's we like easy that. for me. Easy eye yeah. colour. Perfect. That's nearly like our wisdom. And then I'm going to do last but not Take least. Don't do it. Her lovely bag, which is called Girl Power. Girl power, I quite like that it girl sweet, power. It's it? rather sweet. It's kind of like you're 16 in it's your heart. It's from Primark. Is it really? Yeah. Is it? I quite like that Primark. I love that. Oh, wait, do you know what I do? I go get my knickers. Yeah. I put it in the backpack. 
Okay. So well, and you steal them out of Primark. I do steal Sorry, them. I mean, what, but what I, do you mean? but it looked, you would think that, but I put them all in there. Yeah. When Sorry, you're buying okay. it. So you buy a bag with the knickers at the same time. How many pairs of knickers do you need? This could fit about 50 pairs of knickers. I lose knickers every day. Knickers just go missing. So how many knickers have you bought in the last month? Oh my god, hundreds. Like, no, seriously no. Hundreds. No, seriously no. Hundreds. Because I buy packs, big packs. Of knickers? Yeah. And you throw them away after you use them? Yeah, they, yeah. You, do you literally wear a knicker and, and then, then you gone. get rid of it? Yeah. So you don't wash your knickers, you throw don't them away. Don't worry, no, don't have time to do washing. So this is, I'm sorry, this is just stupendous. <laughs> it all comes out in the wash, Jess. You are an utter delight. I have never met a woman in my uh, life who buys as many knickers as you and manages to lose them and buys more. But you, yeah. you've been a joy. But thank you. Such a pleasure. So nice to meet you. Such a pleasure to meet you. Alright, well, I'm gonna go get that cream. Okay.